Welcome to Roy YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to add search as you type text box for your phone. Actually, Microsoft Access search as you type is a feature that allows your current form to filter the results as you type. This feature will give you a program professional look and makes your searching easy and quick to find results. So I will explain this process step by step. So actually this is very easy method and you have to use small VBA codes to get to make this success. Before we go to the video don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this and also please share this video with your friends. Okay let's move to the video. So this is my Microsoft Access sample database. So there I have named my database as search as you type. And also already I have created a table called TBL suppliers. So my this so this TBL supplier table consists with basic details of individual suppliers. So this table contains four columns they are supply id supply name supply contact and the outstanding balance so please follow these steps to create this search text box so the first step is once you created a table then you have to create a query based on this table Okay, to create a new query, you have to click on the create tab and select query design. Once you select query design, you can see this kind of menu, this kind of dialog. So from this, you have to select your table. Here I select TBL suppliers, then press add button, then close. Now I want to create a SQL statement for this query so how to create a so how to create a SQL statements to create a SQL statement you have to click on this empty space in your query design then select SQL view now you can see a window like this so here you can write your SQL statements so I have created my SQL statement inside the notepad, notebook, inside the notepad. So this is the SQL statement you have to add in this situation. So I'll copy this SQL statement and I am going to paste my I am going to paste my statement here. Yes, this is my SQL statement. You can see this is the table this is the table name tbl suppliers and uh, this is the uh, filter part now once you paste your sql statement then you have to save your query then press the save button then you have to give a name to your query so i'll name this query as q q r y search then press OK. I want to test my query. To test the query, just click on this run button. So once you click on the run button, press OK. Now this is the query. I have included all the table columns to my query. Therefore, you can see my query as follows. Now close your query. Now what is the next step? Next step is to create a form so inside that form you go you are going to add a search text box to get a new form again click on the create tab then select blank form right this is the blank form so first of all i would like to save my form to save the form just click on the save button and here i am save my form as frm search press ok yes i saved my form then the next thing is 
I want to go to design view then right click on the form and select design view. I am going to add my search text box inside the form header section. To get the form header section just right click on this detail section of the form and select form header footer. Then you can see a form header section like this. Right. Then under the form header you are going to under the form header I am going to add a search text box. To add a text box just click on the form design and select text box and draw your text box like this. Then I want to save my text box as txt search. I named my search text box as txt search. So I uh, rename text box. So I uh, select text box and go to property sheet and click on the uh, all tab there you can see a name and uh, under the name I give uh, txt search as the text box name yes then I am going to rename label of the text box as search record now the next next thing is select your table select your form like this so after you select your form then go to the format tab of the property sheet there you can see under the format tab there is a option called default view so under the default view you have several form types here under this search methods you have to keep your form as a continuous form yes I selected continuous form as a default uh, view now the default view of my form is continuous form now then you have to add text box several text box under the detail section of your right now this is the text box and I deleted the uh, label so here this is the first text box so I want to add four text boxes because my table because my table consists of four columns. Now I have four columns for each table columns or the query columns. So here then select the text box and there you have to choose the correct control source for your each and every text box. So once you so before you select the control source, you have to set the control control source property of your form. To set the control source property of your form, just click here, the square, click on the square, and under the property sheet, select the form, then go to the uh, data tab. There you can see a option called record source. So here, from, uh, under the record source. You have, to, you have to select your query QRY search yes. then after you selected the control source for your form then go to your text boxes select your text box and you have to change the select text uh, and then you have to select the control source for each text box so the first text box I am going to give supply ID as control source for the second one supply a name and for the third one supply a contact and for the fourth one supply outstand right then you can re, uh, then you can add labels under the form header section here id supply id supply id likewise you have to add another four labels for each text boxes then this is for the supplier name this is for the supplier contact this label is for the supplier contact this one is for supplier outstanding so likewise we have to create four column for labels for each text box now we finished it so if you need you can change the uh, font color and the font size of your search text box then save your form now the form designing process is 
already finished so the next option is to add several VBA codes so here first you have to click on your form or right click or right click on your first right click on your form and select build event so on the build event select code builder then you then then a VBA editor will open for you so here you have to type small uh, coding here under the option compare uh, database part you have to add a small code so you have to keep this this one private BLN space as boolean so that is what you type under the option compare database part under the VBA editor then uh, again under the VBA window you have to select txt search text box and there the event procedure you have to uh, click the change event so you have to add VBA codes under the txt search change event so this is the VBA code you have to include you have to include or you have to type under the txt search text box change event right. then again under the txt search you have to add another small VBA code and the event is keypress event now this is the coding goes to keypress event under the text search text box right now the VBA coding part is done now uh, save your coding and close the VBA editor now we can test our database now we are in the design view we are in the design view of our form then go to the form view so this is the form view now here I am going to type a V E R right then you can see when you type some when you type uh, something inside the text box then records sort out and records filter accordingly just a A D E then we suggest this name so just say R I A N yeah it filter search as you type so it search records as you type so this is how you can build your own search as you type text box using Microsoft Access so I think you learn something new and try to create on search as you type text box and this will very helpful when you are making your own databases for your data for your day-to-day -day needs therefore Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. So if you have any if you need any explanation regarding this process, please put a comment under the video comment section so I will answer. On the other hand, I will attach all the SQL statements and VBA codes. Then you can easily create or test your own search text book. So if you need my sample database, please mention it under the comment section. Therefore, that is it for today and let's meet with another new video. Stay with us.